Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about Celsius. The stock is about 70% down from five months ago, still from May of 24, 70% down. And today I want to explore something new about the drink. I want to answer the question, is it a, del- a health drink? And I want to discuss that. But before I do, let me tell you Celsius, some of the reasons why I like it. These are old slides I've presented before. I like Celsius because I believe each generation has their own drink. Buffett has Coca-Cola, and it's going to be hard to convince Buffett to move away from Coca-Cola. And I think Gen Z, they're actively selecting their favorite drink. Celsius is a top contender for them. And it's going to be hard to convince Gen Z to drink Coke or perhaps even worse, coffee. And so that's not something Gen Z is going to do. Um, number two reason why I like Celsius is it's a top, quote unquote, teen energy drink. If you look at it, they like Monster, they like Root Bull, and they like Celsius. And Celsius is moving up in the rank. The direction is what matters. Celsius keeps moving up in the rank. It's a Gen Z favorite. Reason number three, Celsius is a social media giant. They are everywhere. They sponsor stars. They get tens of millions of views on their video. Their TikTok has 5 million followers to give you an idea. Coca-Cola only has 1 million, but if you look at the likes, Celsius on social media, say by way of TikTok, it's got one order of magnitude more likes among that demographic. Then I like Celsius because Celsius has a lot of Gen Z cultural reference. Gen Z likes soccer. Celsius partners with soccer. Gen Z likes Olympic, Ozempic. Not likes Ozempic, but you know, it's got the rumors of Ozempics. The rumor is, oh, Celsius has Ozempic. That was an example of a rumor that there was. If you look at, if you type on TikTok, for example, Celsius weight loss, you get 700 million, more than that now, but probably a billion now, but at least you had 740 million views, 640 million views on TikTok when you just associate Celsius with Ozempic or with other key words. Obviously, Celsius doesn't have any such thing in it, but it's the rumor of nowadays. And back then, back in my day, when the popular energy drink was Red Bull, we had our own tumor about about Red Bull, and that's what they have these days. So the, the, the cultural relevance or the cultural discussion leads me to think that this one is a winner among that generation. Celsius follows the trends, right? The trends are about this cooler energy drinks, these refreshing energy drinks, these colors, which are really the Instagram colors, the rainbow colors, etc. They use the the colors that speak to that generation. Gen Z sold online. It's the most sold online drink that I can find. And in fact, if you go on Celsius.com, the website, one of the biggest link they have is buy online. You don't, I mean, you buy it at the grocery store. Sure, it's in the grocery store, it's in the convenience store, but they are pushing it online and doing their best to sell it online. Celsius is cheap. And of course, if I cover stock on this channel in general, it's going to be cheap compared to the potential. My channel has a heavy focus on very cheap growth. With the stock being 70% down, this stock is super cheap. It's predicted to grow at 39% next 12 months of revenue. Gross profit is 50%. EB margin is 23%. How much am I paying for that growth? EV over GP over RG? I'm paying a 0.22. It's much cheaper and it achieves the highest rule of 40 at a rule of 62 if you add up the EB margin to the revenue growth. So profitable, high rule of 40, relatively cheap. And you see that, of course, if you look at the traditional metrics, it's trading at three times sales, for example. So pretty, pretty cheap. And this is what I want to talk today. So I want to talk today about the health question. Is it healthy? Is it not healthy? I'm not going to answer that question. I'm I'm not a health expert, but I'm going to talk about the perceptions. Perception is what sells this product, the perception that it's healthy. And of course, they, they, they have their proprietary blend. And, you know, I, as I said, it doesn't have Ozempic, obviously. It doesn't have any form of prescription in it, obviously. But the association in the popular culture nonetheless helps sell the product. That association helps sell the product. Yesterday, I presented GLP-1s and what GLP-1s do, and one of the things that they do have to do with metabolism, 
and the blood sugar and the stabilization of the blood sugar. And Celsius is essentially a pre-workout drink that also deals with metabolism and accelerates the metabolism to, as they say, burn 100 calories. Again, I am no expert, but I know the association is there. And the fact that the association is there is driving the cells. The image is, oh, it's a healthier drink. That is the image that passes kind of the, the sniff test, if that makes any sense. So let's look at the, the health claim or, or, or the, the, the health tilt of this company. And I'm going to talk like a true Gen Z. Celsius identifies as a sports slash a health drink, not an extreme sports, not an extreme racing, not say a super overly manly drink or a super overly womanly drink. You may you may know that uh, Alani is a drink that's very popular, but it's only popular among women. Celsius kind of tries to be in the middle and you see it in the marketing to men, to women, right? They try to be right in the middle. I can't say that about Red Bull, uh, Red Bull Extreme Sports, it, uh, most of it advertising, it features mostly men. So that's, that's they, they try to be identifying as a health drink, a sports drink, that's point number one. And of course, most of advertising, most of their advertising features people working out with the drink. And that has to do with the history of the drink, which is quote unquote, per my research, essentially a pre-workout is what people say. It's essentially a pre-workout. So let's look at the story of Celsius. Celsius is not a brand new SPAC. It's not a new business. It's an old business. It was founded by Steve Ailey and his wife in 2004, workout enthusiasts. Celsius, you know, that was the old marketing, burns calories, tastes great. And that really summarizes the business. Make a pre-workout that tastes great. Make a drink that both helps you boost the metabolism while also tasting great. This was the old packaging. As you can see, they've greatly improved that packaging. Um, and what happened? So the founder, okay, the business was founder-led until 2011. The founder left the business and was essentially replaced by a vitamin billionaire, a vitamins billionaire by specifically this man called Descendis, Descendis, who was the founder of this vitamin giant called Sundown Clean Clean Nutrition. So that's that's the company um, that um, that Carl Decentis uh, owned and became rich with. So a vitamins billionaire enters the Celsius picture. Noteworthy also to say that Chinese billionaire Li Ka-shing, not, not a dumb guy by any means, if you know anything about successful business entrepreneurs, successful magnet, very successful guy. For some reason, Li Ka-shing was involved in the early days of this company and invested in this company. Go figure. Uh, so... The backing of two billionaires, granted Decentis, I'm not sure was a billionaire at the time, but the backing of two very wealthy individuals, including one of them who was going to lead the business, who was in the vitamin industry. And pointing out, by the way, about Haley. So Haley, when he left the company, he kept going with the workout space. The, this drink has been created by Workout Insiders. By the way, these Workout Bands, that's the new business of the original founder of, of Celsius. The new business is Workout band, band, so he stayed in the Workout business. It's a Workout businessman meets a vitamin businessman. That's that's the early story of, of Celsius. Now, let's talk about their claims or, 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 or what they do. And I'm going to summarize the claim as... It's a bunch. It's a bunch of vitamins in a drink, and and this is how I'm gonna be describing Celsius going forward. It's a bunch of vitamins in the drink. Whether you have seen vitamins have an effect on your own body as an individual or not, like that's that's a different matter. But I f I think one of the best way to describe it is is it's vitamins in a drink. It's a, it's a high vitamin drink. There's a lot of compounds in there, and they claim to have their own proprietary blend, the Meta Plus blend, and it's got caffeine, right? That's guar guarana seed. Guarana is the cheapest uh, coffee bean, so it's got caffeine. It's got tea, which has got a lot of little caffeine in tea. You know, it's more, got more healthy in, but it it, it has some some uh, caffeine. 
and it's got ginger oil or ginger or ginger root. And this is something that can help regulate the blood sugar levels. Isn't that interesting that they have a key ingredient, one uh, it be, being one vitamin. Well, I'm not, I call it a vitamin. It's not really a vitamin, but a, a supplement, a supplement that regulates blood sugar is a key ingredient in the blend. And of course, a key point of Ozempic is that they also regulate the blood sugar. Of course, again, it doesn't have any of Ozempic in it, right? We know, we know that. And they, they, they also have a, a, a even more diluted form of green tea, which is EGCG, which is a very common supplement that people seem to be very excited about. And they have the, the e, 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 EGCG or the green tea or the green tea component of the drink. I am not judging, by the way, the value of their university studies, their single university studies, small sample size. But the fact that it has green tea and green tea extract to me is, I mean, it passes once again the sniff test. It passes once again the sniff, the sniff test because there is meta-analytic evidence, right? A meta-analysis, a study of studies, Right, it's it's that, that's typically how scientific evidence is established. A study of studies. You study the studies that have been done on that one very narrow topic. Study of studies seem to indicate that yes, there is an association between green tea, green tea extracts, and obesity. And green tea is a key component of the drink. Right, so that may be the weight loss part. Ginger is the blood sugar regulation. That's a key component in in even medication that are about the the, the, the weight loss. And then you got the guarana, guarana seed, which is the wake up part. Right, it's the, it's the it's the addictive part. Right, the, caf, the caffeine is the caffeine. Caffeine is, is is what you get. And caffeine has health benefits of its own, which are also meta analytic, but they are not promoted by Celsius. But caffeine has its own benefits. So. Celsius, to me, like I said, I would describe it as a bunch of vitamins. It's a bunch of vitamins packaged in a drink with a pleasant taste. Hopefully a pleasant taste, you know, hopefully one of these flavors, and they have many more flavors than this, but the point is that one of these flavors hopefully is going to appeal to someone. And so you have a pleasant taste and you package, obviously, you, 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 uh, you, you package the vitamins in there. And... I'll conclude with this, and, and of course, a drink, vitamins in a can, a drink that was, you know, led by a vitamin billionaire. Yeah, so you got a vitamin billionaire promoting, selling, developing, growing a energy drink that has so much more vitamins in it than any other drink. And, and, and when I compare, let's compare the label. So, so I, I consider Monster to be the main competitor of Celsius. And of course, that's because I want Celsius to be as successful as Monster. So I'm gonna, Monster is gonna be my benchmark, right? It's it's what to beat because if Celsius becomes like a monster, in terms of stock market performance, that's what we want, right? So 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 roughly out of those, you can see it's roughly four four vitamins in in um, in um, in what's it called in in Monster. When you look at Celsius, uh, this is this is what I have. So I have all of these vitamins in there or which independently are like independently enjoyed and praised if all of those you know health oriented websites supplements websites are to be believed right that are making their way in one single drink so one single drink gets you all these vitamins and and another key distinction it, it, it's as important to, to note in a drink what you have and what you have not what you have not in a drink like celsius is sugars and added sugars you don't have any added sugars what you have not or very little of is sodium 400 milligrams of sodium would you would you believe that a monster would have 17 percent of a sodium you need in a day right celsius has zero percent of a sodium you need in a day by the way these, these two drinks are, are, are you know very comparable very comparable even even down to the size of a drink so so again i think any gen z with their perception of health and any really person that, that has this strong perception of health, looking at the labels, looking at the drinks, will say, oh, well, this is healthier 
this accelerates my, my, my metabolism, this is a pre-workout, they see the ads, they see people in the ads drinking, drinking the Celsius, they associate them with quote-unquote good-looking people in the ads, and they're like, oh, look, they're healthy looking, they're drinking your Celsius, healthy looking people are drinking your Celsius, you create that perception, this is a game of perception, this is a game of opinion, but in my view, when I see it in my local grocery store, I see it in my Costco, I see it on my Amazon account, and I see it in my convenience stores, Celsius is a success as far as I can tell and the sell through, it, it, it keeps keeps being well. So so I, I, I that's the way I look at it. I'd be curious to see this, this investment thesis, how far they could take it. Like, could, could they have an even more quote unquote vitamin E Celsius or a drink that is an even more of a functional drink where you can have a lot of the supplements that you may need. I, I think I think they, they are um, fitting squarely into the trends of today. And that's my commentary on the health thing. And by the way, I'll I'll I'll, con I'll conclude with this. Um, I know in the comment section, someone every time I, every time I talk about Celsius, someone in the comment section says, "Oh, biotin is a thousand times recommended the recommended dose." The the a lot of these supplements can be eliminated by by your body because they dissolve in in, in fluids. So. So yes, there's always gonna be there's always gonna be dr drinks and, and vitamins and supplements that someone should not take, but this 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 is a personal matter, right? This is not this is, this is not a across the board blanket matter. And if you look if, if you look at firms like say Viome, they tell you what your body needs, what your body not, doesn't need, for example. Well, you know that not not everybody needs all supplements, and so obviously. Every energy drink, whether it's Celsius, whether it's Monster, Red Bull, or coffee, or whatever, it's not going to be a fit for everybody. And that's the point. We don't we don't live in a mass market world anymore. We live in a one to one market, one product, one person, one custom product to one custom person. And that's one of the drivers. That's one of the reasons I would say why, for example, Celsius has so many tastes, so many beverages, so many new flavors being rolled out all the time to try to get closer hopefully to that one-to-one -one. And, and so i'm curious to see where it's headed in the future this was not financial advice not investment advice not health advice not supplement advice this was just entertainment hoping you were entertained please like please subscribe thank you for watching and have a wonderful day